Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Day in the Life of Vintage Classic Specialist. It's Monday, which means Rafa was here today. Those of you that may be new to the channel, Rafa, who I work with, he's here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm here Monday through Friday, occasionally Saturdays, occasionally Sundays, but try to mostly work Monday through Friday. Anyway, Rafa was here today. So he worked on the One Family 64 bug today, and he reassembled the speedometer, which uh, he had previously taken all apart and cleaned. And um, what we did with this speedometer is we actually left it on the mileage that you can see there, which we think is, I don't know, um, the owners of the car don't think it's been turned over. Um, so it may be originally 48,000 miles, but uh, this car seemed like things were pretty wore out and stuff for only 48,000 miles. So it's a bit of a mystery to me. Um, I'm also not 100% sure that this is the original speedometer for this car. The date stamp, um, from what I remember, might have been off by a few months. Um, and I think that, uh, again, this car was in a pretty massive accident back um, when the current owner was a small boy. He's small enough that he was actually riding um, back here where kids like to ride in these. But a lot of the left side of this car has been replaced. And Rafa said he believes that even the dash or part of the dash may have been replaced. So it's possible that this is not the original speedometer for this car. So the, these miles on here, I'm not sure. But that having been said, we went ahead and instead of setting it back to zero, we left it at the indicated mileage there, which may or may not be original to this car. But again, trying to preserve history here on this car. And so there you go. Yeah, so anyway, that went together today. The chrome ring on it. So I'm not talking about this piece that actually gets installed into the dash. I'm talking about this piece right here that actually holds um, the lens in on the speedometer itself. It was pretty pitted and pretty ugly. So uh, our friend Brian Roth, who I mentioned occasionally to the rescue, he actually had a really nice one that uh, he let us um, buy from him for a very reasonable price. Brian, if you happen to see this, thank you. Anyway, and so yeah, we installed that. Uh, Rafa got the speedometer back together. Looks killer, installed it, there you go. The other thing that he did today was the windshield wiper assembly, which we had taken apart already and we had already, I think, like cleaned the motor itself and powder coated the arm and the, the arms and the main frame here. So he went ahead and put that all back together today and installed it in the car, got it wired up and stuff and yeah it looks amazing again probably did not look that good when it came from volkswagen and what else did he did i think what else did he did let me try that again let what else did he do uh he also put in the headlight switch i believe and um that may be about it for today long time with the speedometer um long time with the the wiper assembly and so on yeah so you can see the wiper switch up underneath there on that side and the headlight switch right there so yeah those are in so wiring's coming along on here i need to order a radio for this car i think uh, the owner and i have discussed this several times i think we're going to go with a retro sound radio so he can have bluetooth and you know answer his phone through it and everything like that um but still have some cool originality as far as the looks are concerned so i need to get on the ball and get one of those ordered so i think those are really the main things that were accomplished on this car today and so we will continue on it again tomorrow so let me see here what did i do today so i again was focused on the 69 Cowlick car Got the brakes together on the back. Um, they didn't fight me too much, not too bad. And they're looking pretty good. So no real powder coating back here. This is mostly just paint. Again, mentioned trying to be a little bit frugal on this build for the owner, saving a few bucks here and there. So, you know, some things are spray painted instead of powder coated, but they really don't look any, any less awesome. Um, it's just, you know, it's kind of the difference between paint and powder coat. Um, can't necessarily tell the difference looking at them, 
but um, paint's probably not quite as durable, and, but it's way cheaper. So anyway, looking for some little opportunities like that to save the owner a few bucks here and there. Um, it was also kind of Christmas for this car today, thanks to Jason at Air Cool Vintage Works. He dropped off the Beam, those of you that have been following uh, our, our shop here and this car in particular, the stock beam was super wore out on this thing. So the inner bushings here were terrible. When you put the arms in, they had all kind of play in them and you could tell it was from the inner bushing. So at that point, that beam is pretty much trash. So we got a stock width adjustable beam. So we can actually, it's kind of nice because now we can fine tune the right height as needed. And we also bought a set of used good um, arms for this car. Um, torsion arms that, um, again, Jason at Air Cold Vintage Works from him, he measured them out, made sure they were good, the bearing surfaces, the dimensions, made sure they were straight. So thanks again, Jason. Those are um, gonna be a big improvement over the wore out wonky ones that came off this poor thing. So what else came in today? Uh, also came in today, just a few other odds and ends for this part. Um, the large bore master cylinder came in which is right there uh there's its reservoir right there some lug nuts came in uh the torsion leaves which again those of you that follow the channel will know that this car had been lowered um back in the day by yanking some torsion leaves out so we're just going to go ahead and throw in um a brand new set in the upper and lower beam um tube there so those came in today uh, I think the wheels, which are going to be chromed and detailed Fuchs for this car, are coming in, uh, I think he said later this week. So uh, I still need to get tires for those, so it's not like they're going to go on the car immediately, other than maybe me to stick them on and kind of ogle it. But um, yeah, I need to get some tires on order for it. And um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the intern, Jacob... Worked on the 36 horsepower motor today. I'm actually having him blueprint all of the main and rod bearings for that one. So um, one of these days I'll go over that in a bit more detail. But suffice to say, yeah, he's still coming, still coming here, still working hard, picking things up really quick. And again, his main project is that 36 horsepower motor. And right now he's going through and blueprinting the bearings. And um, so that's it for now. Uh, so we will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.